Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can personalize your artwork on Steam. Since my last video regarding this, how you can make your profile look better, is doing so insanely good and I've gotten a lot of requests about it. I'm making this video to show you guys on how you can personalize your artwork. So for this video, you'll be either needing Sony Vegas, Photoshop or After Effects. And if you do not have any of those programs, I will not be showing you guys on how to get it for free. I personally bought the program, so I can't say much about that. But there is a free program called GIMP, which you can also use to animate your GIFs. I do not know too much about that program, so I can't go into detail about that. I'll be using After Effects and Photoshop for this tutorial. So as you can see, I'm in After Effects right now, and I made a simple animation so you guys know what to do. Like, it, I don't expect you guys to know too much about After Effects. So I just made this little animation, I'll be showing you guys how to do it. There's like... I don't know, it looks like the leafy intro, like the, the come up and the wiggle. So I'll be showing you guys how to do this a little 5 second animation and it's very basic. So what I did was I imported my, um, I imported the pictures that I downloaded from steam.design. I'm pretty sure you all did that as well. And um, I'll be making a new composition from this uh, middle artwork. So what I'm going to do is drag it into this composition button. And what it makes do, it, and what that does is create a new composition for this layer. So... Uh, you need to make sure it's on 60 FPS. I mean, I like it 60 FPS, so I'm going to keep it like that. Um, what I'm also doing is using my AVI or a logo. My face is my logo. Isn't that quite, like, sad or something? Oh, well. I'm going to be having it on a... Uh, I'm going to transform over here. Sorry, guys. I'm not really used to doing these tutorials, so don't take it for granted. But I'm going to put it to zero and click the timer button on skill. So when I'm over here, I'm going to be doing it for, like... Five seconds, so one second is the come up. Let's see, this is around, yeah, this is fine, this size. Uh, then I'm going over to two and a half, to, yeah, around here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, just a little bit. And then around uh, four seconds, I'm gonna make it as big as this one, which was 29. Okay, four and two, nine. Enter. So, what you have now is... Oh, wait. Let me put this to zero real quick at the end. There you go. So, what you have now is a very basic animation. It looks very shitty. And this is where it comes to play, where I'm going to use the... Whatever. Uh, graph editor. Uh, I'm going to select this and press uh, these things over here. I don't... Easy ease. And what this does, it gives everything a little fade. Now, this does look a little bit better. I don't like it like this, though, because I think it should have a nice flow. I'm going to make it have this. Oh, wait. I need to deselect everything. Otherwise, everything is going to be fucked. Uh, there you go. Make sure that the bo these ones are looking up. The ones at the beginning at the end. These are going to be looking up uh, like that. And this one is going to be needing a nice flow to this one. These ones are going to be up straight or like uh, horizontal. This is like something most of you guys know if you use After Effects. But I'm showing the people who don't know much about it. And what I created now is something that looks very smooth. It comes up and it goes down again. It looks very smooth and it looks way better than if I didn't use the Easy Ease things. But what I'm going to do now is grab these two last things and drag them down a little bit over here. Maybe grab this one and put it in the middle of these. And what that does is it makes the thing fade out earlier. I want the normal background to be visible for a little bit. And um, yeah, that's it. So now we have this animation. It comes up and it goes down again and it's blank. And of course, this is going to be reset all the time. So let me let's show you guys real quick. There you go. This is what it looks like. It looks cool already. I'm not going to lie. It looks cool, but simple. So here you have uh, the effects and presets. The effects, <laughs> the effects and presets. And you want to type in wiggle. Now you want to go over to wiggle position and you want to drag that onto your profile picture or your logo or your text or whatever you're using. So you want to go over to wiggle speed. I think the wiggle speed at one is fine, but the wiggle amount is quite low. So I'm going to put that to 125. I think that should be fine for this size. See, now you have a little nice wiggle going over it. It just makes it look a little bit different and a little bit more original than the others. Now, I think personally, this looks pretty cool. And it's very simple, and it basically took me no time to make. Like, this took me five minutes, and I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do this as well now. So, what you want to do now is render this into a... Let me let me go over this real quick. 
you want to render this into a JPEG. All right, so you want to click on the best settings thing, the render settings, and you want to go over to use comp frame rate. So it's 60 and you're sure it's 60 and not 30 because it's usually set to 30. Click OK, lossless, and you have to render this in a JPEG sequence. Uh, yeah, of course, I'm going to have the highest quality. Uh, this should be fine. This is all fine. Okay, okay, okay. We don't want to do anything with the other stuff. Now, uh, let me show you guys what I'm going to do. Over to my desktop, create a new folder, and uh, call this artwork. This is going to create a bunch of photos because I'm rendering it in 60 FPS. So as you guys can see, I'm on my artwork thingy, and it's created a lot of pictures. So whenever you're in Photoshop, you want to click on file. Sorry, my Photoshop is in Dutch. And you want to open your file right here, and you want to look wherever you saved it. Here it is artwork artwork so you want to click on one photo click on uh jpeg sequence this is what it means in dutch and uh you want to scroll all the way down hold shift and click the last one click open and what you do is come up with a frame rate now you want to type in 60 because i rendered it in 60 just put in whatever you rendered it in and click ok and i can show you guys the photos that are rendered as photos in after effects as a video in photoshop <laughs> so once you have this you want to go over to file export export for web let me find it real quick now it should load up here in a second there you go uh, you can play it over here and it shows what you have now what you also want to do uh, you want to make sure you put this to always um, repeat options always uh, so it keeps looping and looping I do not know too much about these settings but uh, I just keep it at the default setting it looks okay it just looks a little bit pixelated um, a bit weird but it's all right you want to make sure you have all your settings right and then you click on you want to make sure you have all your settings right everything is correct and then you want to click on save of course uh i'm just gonna save it on my uh there you go artwork and i'm gonna call it main dot gif so what you want to do now is go over to steam and click on artwork now once you're over here you want to click on upload artwork and look for not game specific then you want to go to choose file go over to your artwork thing and click on the main thing that you just searched for. You want to click on open and give your artwork a name. I'm just going to call it youtube.com slash Matt Matt CS. You should subscribe to the dude. He's pretty funny. Uh, okay. I certified that I created this artwork. Save and continue. And it should be done. There you go. Now I'm going over to my profile again and click on edit or change showcase. And I'm going to click on the middle one. And I'm going to look for the one that I just uploaded, which is this one. I don't know why it's not showing up yet, but okay, there you go. Click on it and save changes. There you go. And everything should be fine and it should be working. There you go. So that's how you make a little animation for your artwork profile. I'll be showing you guys how you can get this long side in, um, in your artwork as well. And yeah, let's get into that right now. All right, guys. So if you want a long side on the side of your profile, instead of having three uh, normal blocks, you want to go over to your Steam inventory and look for the profile you have. You want to click on view full size and save image as. And you want to save image as as something uh, BG and save it and go to your Photoshop again. Wait, let me drag this into my Photoshop. And there you go. Wait, let me get rid of the timeline because we don't need that anymore now. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the sites that you downloaded from steam.design. The sites are these little things and you're supposed to upload those, but I don't like it and they're normal because everyone else could do that and you want to be a little bit special. So you want to drag them over here and find the right adjustment size for the sites. Now you have the top one right here and you want to click OK. Now what I usually do is I make the this one have a little bit less opacity so you can see where you have overlaid your uh, sides so basically what you want to do is you want to put the sides of your artwork uh, showcase into Photoshop and line them up with your background and that's it so now you have all of those three lined up so you can't see where they really are now you want to make this one have a little bit less opacity and what you want to do now is go over to the selection tool go over to the bottom one or the top one and you want to have this one this layer selected Go to the bottom of this one. This is how I do it, guys. There are probably more ways to do it, but... And I select until I am at the top one of the um, artwork at the side. And that's about it. This doesn't have to be that precise because you won't really see if it's good or not. You want to Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. 
And what you have created now is, let me turn everything off and turn this one on, is a side panel for your profile. So once you're on this page, you want to go over to the, the copy paste that I put in the description of this video and it lets you uh, upload long artworks. So you want to go to non game specific again, choose file, click on side, open, give your artwork a title. I'm just going to give it a name side, uh, certify that you made it and you don't want to save this yet. You want to click on inspect and there's a console at the bottom and paste this into the console, click enter and save and continue. Now this console command lets you uh, upload a very long artwork. So now you wanna go to add a showcase, select your main uh, main showcase and select the side. And as you can see, the side is a little bit bugged because it is a console command that you're uploading. Like it's not supposed to be here at all. And you want to uh, just save it. And as you can see, it has a nice long side instead of three blocks. So guys, that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. This is very different from what I usually upload because I normally stick to gaming. But since you guys really wanted me to upload this, I thought I'd make a little easy tutorial for you all. I hope you guys did manage to follow along and enjoy the video. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel. And of course, I am out. Peace.